so that's impressive hey guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here welcome if you guys are already part of this wonderful family you guys know the drill thank you guys so much for getting to watch and to support. So in today's video, we are going to be doing our October BoxyCharm unboxing. It's going to be a try-on video today. I'm very excited because I did watch a couple of these yesterday and they got me really excited for this month. So let's go ahead and jump into that. But before we start, make sure that you guys subscribe, like, and comment. And let's go ahead and jump into a BoxyCharm unboxing. Let's go. Okay, so for today's video, I thought it would be appropriate. I did share this on my stories, but if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you guys head over to Instagram and check out my page. It is at Ileana's Vanity. I will leave it linked down below, as I always do in all of my videos. But I actually ordered this little crew neck, and I'm going to show it to you guys. This is what it looks like. This is a crew neck and it comes in several different colors it says vogue and then it has the three sanderson sisters you guys are going to see in a minute why i chose to wear this for today's video but i'm very excited to jump into the boxy charm so for the month of october we actually have our little theme card here and it is spellbound which i think is just so appropriate for the month of october obviously it has some like little spooky candles and it just looks amazing so this is what the little card looks like and of course on the back it does have all of the information regarding all of the products that are in my boxy charm for this month along with the prices and a little brief description of what each of the items is and then this month they do have a little pamphlet style where it has several different dates on the different boxy charm events that they have going on all right so the first thing that is on my little list here i'm going to kind of go in order of how i would be applying my makeup today so the first thing is actually from tarte this is the wink of h2o vegan collagen eye cream and this retails for 35 dollars but it's basically just like a little um eye cream and it says like an espresso shot for your under eyes it is a vegan skin loving eye cream that reduces the appearance of puffiness and dark circles for a refreshed and youthful look i actually already did my skin prep but we're gonna go ahead and just try this out oh it seems like a pretty thick formula actually it doesn't have any type of scent and it does feel pretty thick okay so i'm gonna actually just apply a little bit like right underneath the eyes when it comes to eye cream the one thing that i have notice is that you really only need a very small amount like a little bit goes a very long way when it comes to eye cream but wow this feels really thick so it definitely feels like it's going to be very hydrating if you guys are new to my channel and for those who have been watching me for a while i do have really dry skin especially going into these like winter cold weather like months it was like a thick formula and it really just like sunk into the skin so i really really like that like i said it does retail for 35 dollars and i'm actually very excited to um keep using this i haven't bought eye creams in a very long time for whatever reason i just kind of stopped buying eye creams um but i'm i'm pretty excited to just incorporate this into my skincare routine especially at night so that way i can wake up and feel very very hydrated and ready to go for the day so i'm very excited to keep using that okay you guys the next thing i'm so excited to go into this is the ace beauté falling for you palette this retails for $34.99 and i'm very excited first of all the packaging on this palette is just so gorgeous it has like those little leaves on there and you guys when you see the inside of this palette it is going to blow your mind because it is just so beautiful like it really is such a beautiful palette this is what the inside of the palette looks like now tell me this does not scream all of the vibes that you need for this month's boxy charm like and it also comes with a nice big mirror in here so you can really just do it all with this palette and what i love about these is that these shades like not only is this a perfect fall palette this is perfect for holiday season as well a lot of these colors just scream holiday fall season it's just perfect okay so i brought you guys in so you guys can see exactly what i am doing with my eyeshadow i have like this uh this thing popped up out of nowhere overnight and we're just gonna go ahead and ignore it but i did go ahead and prep my base um of my eyelids and i used this base called pero primero primer and this is from alamar cosmetics i have really been liking this primer lately so i'm gonna go in with this first shade right here this is the shade squash it is like a nice pretty like soft pink 
but it's like one of those like barely there shades I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of apply that all over the lid to just really set everything in place with this light color I usually like to do this with the lightest color in any palette that I'm using so I'm gonna go ahead and just take some of this autumn shade right here and I'm gonna just use that as a little bit of a transition shade I'm barely gonna be putting any of this in but just to kind of get the lid started holy cow it's very pigmented right away so I'm gonna have to be very light-handed with this Wow, that is very pigmented, like, right away. I barely grabbed any of this shade, you guys, and it came off, like, very pigmented. And I'm being very light-handed right now, so... So if you guys do get this palette and you guys are gonna be creating looks, make sure you guys are very light-handed with this because... It's pigmented. So next I'm gonna be taking this cranberry shade, which is a nice, rich, like, wine grape shade. I was about to say grape soda, but I'm gonna take that on like a little fluffy brush and I'm really gonna focus this on the outer and the inner corners because we're gonna leave that center for the halo. So I'm going to just start applying this. These shades are so pigmented, it's crazy, like, crazy how, like, pigmented and smooth these are because sometimes something can be really pigmented but it's so hard to blend out but I'm not having a hard time with these like at all. Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of carve out where I'm gonna be doing that halo look. I'm gonna be using my Gerard Cosmetics. This is the clean canvas base and I'm gonna be going in and this is in the shade Fair. So I'm going to be taking some of this cider shade right here, which is like that nice rich gold and I'm going to apply that right onto the lid. So since I have short nails, I'm going to just start applying this with my fingers. Honestly, I feel like shimmers apply and work best when you use your fingers over brushes. However, I don't always have short nails, but for today's video, because I do have short nails, I want to take advantage of that. And now that I have it kind of just placed everywhere, I want to really define the shape of the halo. So I'm going to start going back in with that shade that we were using. What I really like to do as well, I'm going to go back into that cranberry shade, but with like more of a liner brush, I like to carve the top of the halo to really define it show the significant difference of where the halo kind of ends and then I'll go ahead and blend it out when I'm done so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of just play around with some more of these shades I'm gonna take some of this apple shade right here which is like a nice pink shimmer shade and just for fun I want to see oh this is really pretty I just kind of want to add a little bit of this into the eye it kind of gives like that monochromatic look to the eye. Okay, so I really like how this eye look is coming out. And I'm going to go ahead and just wipe the bottom. I didn't really have any fallout actually. But I want to go ahead and just kind of dab that because I did have that eye cream underneath. So I don't want to take too much of that off. So we kind of got two items that kind of go hand in hand, which is what I'm going to be using today. So this next one is from Appeal Cosmetics and it is an adhesive liquid liner and this is in jet black. So this does retail for $29. This is what the packaging looks like. Oh yeah, that is, that is very, that's like a true black shade okay so i figured we would use that hand in hand with the next item this one is from camara i believe it's camara unique beauty this is the mary lash so this is what the packaging looks like and it does retail for 25 dollars and this says that it is new to uh boxycharm so this is a new brand to boxycharm so this is what the packaging looks like on the lashes it's a very nice wispy and it does say this is the most natural lash in the collection and it's perfect for the woman who wants to keep it real with her beauty it is a soft light whisper lash that looks perfect with all eye shapes now i wanted something that's a little bit fuller with this look i will say the packaging is very unique it has like this little compact and then you slip it out and then I think you kind of just pull... Oh, okay. And then it has like this little thing on the back where you just kind of like pull the lash out and it just slides right on out. And here they are. This is what the style of the lash looks like. Now they do look like they're pretty wispy and they have like that cat eye effect. So, okay. So I know I said I wanted to use the little lashes, but as I was kind of like trimming them down to fit my eyes, 
they're not going to show up at all because they're pretty natural looking so i'm going to go ahead and just take a different pair these are the luna lashes from luna beauty from lunar beauty these are the ones that i'm going to be applying today but let's go ahead and apply the adhesive liner that we got this is not budging it's not going anywhere so it seems like it's going to be a pretty strong hold liner so let's go ahead and apply this liner So I did a pretty baby wing because I don't want it to take away too much from the actual eye look. Wow, so that was actually rather easy. Like they applied like nothing. So that's impressive. I'm going to definitely be using this um, adhesive liner a lot more often. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do the other one and I'm gonna do my base makeup and then we're gonna come back and try the last product in our BoxyCharm, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I applied my base makeup. I did all of that good stuff. I'm gonna actually go in with a little bit more of the of the Ace Beauté uh, Falling For You palette. So I'm gonna be taking this pine cone shade and also mixing it in with that purple shade we were using earlier, just to kind of smudge it right underneath the eyes. Okay, so now that the eye look is complete, let's go into the last and final product in my October Boxy Charm. This is from Hanalei. I think it's Hanalei. Um, this is the Hanalei Beauty Company and it is a matte bronzer. This is also a new brand to Boxy and this does retail for $25. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's very like Honolulu, Hawaii vibes. And I believe that's also what the name is. It's kind of like a Hawaiian name. So it is Hanalei. And it says glow like a Hawaiian goddess with a cruelty-free natural matte bronzer. This is a long wearing powder that gives you that sun-kissed look fresh from a day at the beach um, and it says apply with a brush to define the cheekbones and enhance your natural beauty so the packaging on this is actually really really cute it has like that little flower very nice and then does it have a specific shade no it just says matte bronzer oh and the company is actually based in hawaii it does say honolulu hawaii that's so cute so this is what the bronzer looks like it looks like it's a very nice like um sun-kissed look It doesn't really have any type of scent. It is showing up and it's it's a very nice like matte bronzer. This would be perfect for like winter time. It looks really, really nice. I kind of went a little crazy with my bronzer, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean up that. I also wanna take like a very like compact blending brush and I wanna also apply this on the nose. I usually cream contour um, the nose before I go in with anything else, but Today, I was like, you know what? Let's just do it. Ooh, that looks very nice. I like this bronzer, especially for that nose contour. All right, so this is what the final look looks like with everything that I got in my BoxyCharm for the month of October. And honestly, you guys, like, I can't name one thing that I didn't like in my BoxyCharm this month. Like, this month's BoxyCharm is literally bomb. Like, I love everything. So the total retail of my BoxyCharm is $148.99 like that is crazy I always say that because they always literally give you so much more than what you actually pay for I do have the base box which I pay out of my pocket it is $25 I can't even name like a favorite item to be honest but I really really like I'm obsessed with this palette I can't wait to keep playing around with it and I just think that the colors in here aren't only like fall colors it's not just a fall palette but it's definitely holiday colors like wouldn't you guys agree this is totally like holiday um vibes and as well as like a fall palette so i really really like that that i can keep using it more than just like a couple times but i hope that you guys enjoyed my video make sure that you guys leave me a comment down below so i know you guys are watching don't forget to subscribe before leaving today and i will see you guys in my next video ciao